Hi, class class. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's devotional by Dick Dirksen. He's such an amazing storyteller. And isn't it cool that he got to go to Africa and experience those lions? Those lions that should have been alone. And yet, because they were brothers, for some reason, they decided to stay together, which is very unexpected for male lions. Well, today we're going to read a little bit about lions in our devotional book, How Great Is Our God? by Pastor Louis Giglio. Perfectly happy. Perfectly happy. The verse that goes with our story today is, Be content with what you have. Because God has said, never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. That's a promise found in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. A cat's purr is one of the most soothing sounds around. But it's also a little mysterious. Because we don't completely understand how or why cats purr. We usually think cats purr because they're happy and content. And, well, that's true. But cats purr for other reasons, too. A mother cat will purr right after her kittens are born. The vibrations help the kittens, whose eyes are still closed, find the warmth and milk from their mama. Cats also purr when they're nervous or hurting. Scientists think that purrs soothe the cats, and may even help them recover from their injuries quicker. Every cat has its own personality. Some are soft and rumbling, while others sound like an engine starting up from across the room. Whatever the reason behind it, purring has become a symbol for feeling happy and content. The Apostle Paul from the Bible, said he had learned the secret of feeling happy and content. No matter what, no matter what happened, Paul was happy and content. But how? By counting on Jesus. He trusted Jesus to give him all he truly needed. Boys and girls, you can too. That doesn't mean You'll feel like turning cartwheels all the time or skipping around, but it does mean you will have a blessing every single day. You might just have to look up to remember it. Even on the worst of days, you have a God who will never leave you, a God who will never leave you, and he promises to meet all your needs. And those are some pretty good reasons to purr, to feel content. Right here is a picture. Does that look like a cat you would have in your house? It's not, is it? House cats aren't the only cats that purr. Big cats like bobcats and cheetahs and even mountain lions purr too. Did you know that was a mountain lion? But cats that roar, like lions and tigers and leopards and jaguars, they don't purr. That's right, they don't purr. That's because the bone in their throat is too hard to vibrate. Unlike the elastic bone of purring cats. Boys and girls, let's try each day to find those blessings that God gives to us and to be content and happy because we know no matter what, God will never leave us or forsake us and that he will always love us and take care of us. Dear Jesus, thank you for that promise in Hebrews. Thank you for the promise that says you will never leave us. You will never forsake us. Thank you for promising to take care of us. Jesus, help us to learn to be content, even on hard days, to find those blessings and reasons to be happy 
when sometimes we don't feel very happy. Help us to trust you to take care of us. And because we know you're taking care of us, we know that we can be content. We love you, Jesus. Amen.